Hey, I think I got it. Hello, first viewer. <laughs> I can't see you because I don't have chat on. Gary is live, I believe. Central Michigan. Hey, first guy here. Unleashed Patriot. Hello. Pratt, Pratt go me 68. Ah, oh, you know what I forgot, guys? I'm not wearing my bifocals. <laughs> Patrick, Yvette. Hey, guys. I'm a little early tonight. Plan had to change. We'll talk about that in a minute. Connie, hello. Wow, you guys are quick. 26 of you guys in one minute. <laughs> going to turn you around and show you what we're doing. Hey, Rick. Tad. Okay, so I am set up under the gazebo. And if you notice, there was a drop of rain. Just went down here. So while I was waiting for you guys, I actually, we actually had some action out there. The fox went across and we got it on the night camera, but I wasn't ready to go live. So yeah, this is the plan. This is the setup for the first few minutes. Anyway, we're just going to check the swamp here off my deck. We were supposed to have a fire tonight and it's raining. So yeah, it's kind of crummy. Let me turn you around. So there is more to this plan. <laughs> I was going to have a fire tonight. Yeah, I'm wearing the uh, the Canadian jacket, right? This, so you guys know I'm Canadian, right? Hey, you wear the plaid. Anyway, I was going to have a fire tonight, and it's been raining for three days. And Tom texted me this afternoon and said he was going to have a fire tonight. And I said, okay, well, if you're having a fire, we'll just go over to your place jokingly. And he's like, yeah, come on over. I said, I'm going live on YouTube. He said, bring the gang. So <laughs> we're going to we're gonna scan the swamp here a little bit in the backyard for a little bit. And then we're going to make our way over to Tom's. He, I'm not sure if he's still having a fire, but uh, he said he was getting out the guitar and he was going to sit under his gazebo. And maybe we'll have a, a Canadian beer and a couple songs with Tom. Hi, Susan, Ida. So that's the plan. I wanted to show you guys. I think we can, I, I think I can show you guys the night camera with the phone. This is the best I can do. I can actually stream it to the phone, but you guys can't see it because we're live. So I just want to show you, it's a terrible setup, but let me turn the camera around. And I did have a light on earlier. I did a little test before you guys got here. And look it. I, I was zoomed in earlier. Hi Peggy. Yeah, it's raining. Okay, earlier I somehow zoomed in. And anyways, I was getting ready for you guys and the fox ran right across there. That's like a hundred yards out there. Look at this night camera. Like we can see so good. Well, we, you can see so good if I hold the camera in the right place. <laughs> so before we, before I make you guys sick from trying to look through there, what I'll do is I'll scan the swamp with my light. And if we get any eyes, which is how I saw the fox, his little eyes were shining out there, then I'll move you guys up to the camera. Um, hi, Rob, Tommy, Cindy Lou, Yan, Jan, Yan, John. Uh, if you guys missed it, I forgot. Something else I learned the other night was Gary should be wearing his bifocals when using the phone and trying to read these things, and I'm not. I forgot to do that, so. Yeah. Awesome way to spend a Friday. And I don't know how, but the comments keep disappearing. If I could find a way to leave that on. Nope. Sorry, guys. Okay, so yeah, so it's raining here. It's kind of crummy. It's, it's been raining for three days. More than three days. And we're getting that big storm uh, that's coming across the Great Lakes and straight north. So in an hour from now, it's supposed to be torrential downpour. 
So all the wood and everything. My fire pit actually has about two inches of water in it, three inches of water. So why? Why does this chat keep disappearing? Somebody tell Gary what he's doing. Nope, you guys are gone. You're completely gone. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Oh, I got you back. TCS. Yeah, Bigfoot does come out in the rain. Just not in my backyard. Okay. So you guys can see, like I say, it's, eh, probably. There actually is something over there I just heard. I can hear it moving. So we get lots of deer here. The fox was here 20 minutes ago before you guys got here. Hey, Erica, Gage is in the house. He was whining to get out, but he'll just knock my tripod over. There's the solar light. So I want to tell you guys as well, we've got an awesome video coming out tomorrow, which is the one I've been talking about. So I've told you guys like three times now that um, I caught a whoop the other night. And I keep saying that I've released that video, but I haven't. It's coming out tomorrow. So the fox didn't say anything. <laughs> So stay tuned tomorrow for that one. That video is coming up. There's some cool audio on that one. I put the, the parabolic dish out and we've got some cool sounds on there as well. And I forget where I was going with that, but <laughs> so that video will be out tomorrow. And this is where I set up and we, we get lots of deer and stuff going through here and, and sounds I can't explain. So Tommy C, Ingborg, hey guys. Yeah, I'm live, I'm a little bit early. Now I did post on Facebook earlier in the week and I know some of you guys said you don't use Facebook. I'll try to make postings in videos, uh, the descriptions when I know I'm gonna go live. But as you can see tonight, I really would have preferred to not go live because of the rain and everything. But I thought, well, I told you guys I was going to. So we had to come up with a plan B, which is hang out with Gary on his deck for 15 or 20 minutes. We're gonna go probably for about an hour, I'd say. And we're going to walk over to Tom's. We're going to have a Canadian cold one. And he's going to get the guitar out. He's going to sing Squatch out of the swamp for us. So, turning you guys around. There's my fire pit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's full of water. Actually, there's more water in there now than there was earlier today. But I did, I cut down a great big ash. And there was the wood over there. We were going to have a fire. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I did lots of work for tonight. Foiled. Never gonna give you up. Thanks, Vlad. <laughs> Thought I heard something, but it's probably... It's early, right? So it's uh, uh, not even 9 o'clock, I don't think, yet. So... With my neighbors, you never know what you're going to hear, right? They're drinkers, some of them. <laughs> and it's Friday night, guys, so you never know what kind of screaming and whooping we're going to hear. <laughs> this other light is better, I think. A little bit better. It's blinding. You guys can see me better that way for sure. Yeah, hit that like button, people. Gary doesn't go live off, and this is only the second time. So about that as well, I needed to figure out uh, how much data we used. And I think for the 20-minute session we did the other night, it didn't use very much data, like half a gig. So I think a couple times a month, we can totally, as long as I've got cell service, you guys can join me on adventures, either out on an expedition, logging road, uh, late at night, camp out somewhere, you know, in the swamp, anywhere, uh, a couple times a month. The reason I want to do this, there's a couple really good reasons. I don't have to edit this when I'm done, right? It's it's live. <clears throat> oh, you guys disappeared again. Yes, this is awesome. Hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> so, sorry guys if, I, if I'm a little slow to read. And you, it keeps disappearing. I don't know why. It just faded out again. I think 
maybe if you guys don't post, keep posting so that you guys stay up on the screen. I think that's it. Hey, Chris. Look for the big guy, Rick. Hey. So, I forget what I was saying, but yeah, a couple times a month we'll be able to go live. I have enough data. I don't even have to update my plan. I was going to add more gigs to the plan, but I don't think we have to do that. And I'm just doing a quick scan for eyeballs. And if we get eyeballs, I've got the night camera beside me for those of you guys that are just showing up. And I can kind of show you what's what's through it. I can also show you guys, so from the deck, to give you a better idea. So Tom's house is over there. I don't know, he's probably 100 yards over there. And in here, we, we get lots of deer and stuff. I've got two trail cameras right in here. But uh, over in there is where we had that weird light. We, we did a video with like, light shining out in the swamp one morning. I don't know, I think it was last spring. And so Tom's is over there. We can see it all lit up. And it was, it was back there like 200 yards, I don't know, maybe even more. And there's nothing back there, guys. That's swamp. That's If we go back there a quarter mile, we'll hit the 90-acre trail. So that's kind of just to show you guys, give you some perspective of where we are. Of course, my deck. And then I showed you guys deer in one of the last videos. They were over there on the log pile, and they were down here on this side. And my, my neighbor on that side, he's even further away than Tom. He's probably like, I don't know. 200 yards cam he's way over there so and then behind us there's nothing as you guys know we've droned the swamp like there is nothing back there it's like a corridor that goes i don't know 25 kilometers south uh so this is an olight i did a review on this on the channel it's got four or five different modes tiny little light really bright Yeah, and so this one here is a, an Olight product as well too, guys. It's like a camping light. They're waterproof. Five different modes on these things as well. Red. Flashing. That's the give you a stroke. And then it actually has like a lower setting like that, so. Yes, so Grant is closer now. He's like half an hour away from me. So for those of you that don't watch, Grant is my brother. He's got his own channel. He does paranormal stuff. And we are going to get out and do some expeditions and, and do some videos together. He's just super busy right now moving into his, uh, his house. They've got a lot of work to do. So it's a house that uh, my dad rented out for years. So there's uh, quite a bit of damage to the house and the yard needed to be cleaned up. So... Yeah, Grant's got quite a bit of a work ahead of him for the next month, but we are going to get out and do some expeditions and things together. So uh, moose season starts tomorrow. So I'm not sure if Grant's going to be hunting with us or not, but it's moose season, then deer season for two weeks. So we're going to be doing lots of hunting together. Um, we'll be making some videos on that, putting them up as well. Just because, like I said, we're going out to places like 100 kilometers out of town that we don't normally get to. So we can do our squatching as we're out there doing that too, right? And some of you guys are hunters. Some of you guys like hunting. Bonfire grants. Hee-haw! Hey, thank you. <laughs> Mary, Mary, hello. Grant's channel is amazing too. Yes, it is. He gets some weird stuff. If you guys don't watch, it's going to sound crazy, but uh, he talks to his sink. Yeah. He's developed this one night. Him and I were sitting around, and I said, well, what about modern technology where we could, uh, you know, screen out static and stuff we were talking about the app that we used the hack shack 8 and he took it a step further and he started collecting white noise samples uh from his sink and now he like even an old fridge running in his house and stuff like and the voices that come through are freaking crazy so like i if you haven't watched his channel hey david thank you if you haven't watched grant's channel check it out some of this i don't agree with everything that he thinks he hears but a lot of it is undeniable. Sometimes the, the full sentences that come through there, and some of them are so clear, uh, it's hard to argue with it. And he actually had God 
Okay, well, whatever came through the tap the other day said, hi, this is God. <laughs> so, and we, him and I talked about it. We were like, you can't really say whether it was God or not, obviously, right? But, but a voice came through the freaking tap that said, hi, this is God doing a good job or something. I forget what it, what it said to him. So it was crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Mary, Mary. Um, yeah. So if you haven't checked out his channel, uh, Optimal Frequency, guys, uh, look up Grant Reed Optimal Frequency. Okay, so the plan, as I've told you guys, as some of you are coming on here and there, we're going to be walking over to Tom's here shortly. We're just kind of hanging out. I'm Live is super noisy <laughs> so, because I'm chatting it up and talking. It's not like when I come out here and sit quietly on the deck at night and watch the stars. Um, I get lots of things going on, right? Um the fox showed up before you guys got here. He went right across the backyard. And uh, I, just as I was about to push the live button, and now I'm making too much noise, so I don't think we're going to get any deer or anything, but I, I am scanning. Oh. Turn you guys around. There's Tom. He's just getting home now. So, he he's invited us over. And we're going to head over there shortly for a Canadian cold one. <laughs> I figured we'd spend about an hour together. So that way, I know I told you guys 9 o'clock. So I'm on a little bit early. But all of you guys will have a chance to jump on say hi. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys. So I'm trying to mention each and every one of you guys I see come up. But the... Super chat here keeps disappearing on me. Shane, hello Shane, Kelly. Yes, Grant does have some neat, interesting stuff going on right now, guys. Let me know if anybody sees any eyes out there. You'll see them because they it's this light is actually very powerful. The phone is what sucks. Jab head. Patrick, Cindy, hi guys. <laughs> the fox said nothing. That's true. That is true. He just looked at me and said, what are you doing? Stop making all that noise. Yeah, so I think we're just going to be, we're just way too noisy. Up here in the swamp. You know what? We've got to walk over to Tom's anyway, so. Yes, thanks, hee-haw. <laughs> I told Tom if we go over for a beer, he's going to have to give me one because I don't have any, so. We'll, we'll just show up and see. Okay, I just heard... I don't know if you get... Can you guys hear that? Voices. Probably neighbors. Still early. No, it wasn't Tom either. <laughs> oh, this chat is so annoying. Yeah, so we had a pretty good day up here today. Like, I, I don't know what you guys temperature wise, but up here, okay, four hours north of Toronto, we should have had frost by now. We should have days that are, you know, 10 degrees Celsius, and we're still up in the 20s, 22 degrees Celsius earlier today. And I think all next week is supposed to be high teens, 18, 19, 20. Hey, Flat Rock Booger, Omar, Richard. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off this night vision camera. I know I've showed you guys this before, but I run this off of a drone. And I've been out here for 40 minutes now, and the drone is still full of the battery. My DJI drone battery runs the night camera. Otherwise, this thing just eats through uh, AA batteries like crazy. So we'll just lock that down and it's shut down. So if you guys are wondering, I know I've had a couple people ask, this is the Equinox. It's a Bushnell night camera, actually super cheap. We paid like 270 bucks for that. And I showed some of you guys earlier, 
Like we can see out there a hundred and some yards. Like it looks like daytime when we look through this thing and it'll probably go in an open field. I would say easily 250 yards. You can see deer and things like that. Yeah, climate change for sure, guys. That would be my, my vote on that. Anyway, let's take a quick walk through here. I'm just gonna leave. We're good, everything's under the gazebo. I'm gonna take a walk over. Now I was smart, I turned off my Wi-Fi before I started, so we should be running on data, so we shouldn't have any interruption. I'm not gonna bother going through the swamp tonight because it's super wet. But I do have a trail that goes between my place and Tom's. Oh, he's got the lights on over there. Thank you, Elizabeth. I saw it, I caught it this time. <laughs> Now, where's my trail? So, look at how wet it is in here, guys. So as some of you guys know, longtime viewers of the channel, we have fires all year long. Uh, the neighbors, Tom and Brandon, Dave and I and Cam, all of us. And we were out here in the winter and we've like, those guys called me a couple of times and told me about screaming that was going on. One night they were having a fire and I came out, we had the videos on the channel and I went back here in the swamp and I went out there 300 yards and I just kind of hunkered down in the dark and I let those guys keep having their little party. And I just like filmed, I don't think we had the night camera then but there's one of my trail cameras right there. I've set one up here and I've got another one out there another 100 yards down. Uh, we get stuff going between our houses all the time. So, But in that one video, I went out there and I hid and I kind of just thought, you know, if something was out there watching those guys, we might be able to get it. I had the night vision from the camcorder that night, but... Oh, it's wet and stinky in here. Oh, Grant's texting me something. I don't know. He doesn't know I'm live. You know what I forgot? I forgot the tripod. I had such a hand cramp. Finley! I had such a hand cramp the last time I did a live session with you guys. Hey, C. Joe, Rob, Sherry. I had such a hand cramp from the 20-minute session that we did that it was like over an hour before I could open. I had like the claw. Yeah, all the fingers were locked. And I was going to put this phone on a tripod tonight, but I forgot it. Hey, thanks, Omar. Yeah, I may have to prop this up somewhere. Here, I'm going to turn you guys around. Uh-oh. There he is. Did you hey. Did we're, you start we're, a fire? Yeah. No, I didn't start a fire. Okay. We're, we're live. Are we going to do a fire? I'm going to start a fire right now. He's going to start a fire. Woo! The Canadian way. No rain is going to stop these guys. <laughs> oh, and he, got, he even brought us a beer, guys. I brought you a beer. I'll have to drink one for you because... You guys can't handle that Canadian beer, eh? <laughs> Rob says, hey, Tom. Not a Rob you know, Rob S. <laughs> this is how we start fires, with pallets. Yeah, so, Tom's gonna cheat. It's not cheating. It's cheating. I got a bunch of ash over at my place. If I had a four-wheeler, I'd... Uh, Offer to bring it over, but we all know how that went. <laughs> how wet? Well, I thought we were just going to do a 
couple of songs on your deck under the gazebo. And now I feel bad because I got no hands to help Tom either. I got to hold the phone and hold the flashlight. <laughs> Will do, Omar. Thanks for tuning in. Caro says, get that fire started, Tom. You're slacking. No. <laughs> I just got home. Charcoal starter. Come on, that's not the Canadian way. Our other neighbor, Brandon, isn't here, so I can tell you this story. He's not. He doesn't watch my live show either. We went over to his place and one night he decided to use gas instead of oil to light the fire. He burned his eyebrows off. <laughs> we can laugh about it now, but at the time it was kind of scary. <laughs> his pallets are pretty wet. I don't know if it was going to work, Tom. That's right, supervising. Gary's good at supervising. I don't like burning the pallets because they're full of nails and then you've got to empty out your fire pit all the time. Tom doesn't care. Oh, I see some flamage down there. Do you guys want to take bets? Is this going to go? Oh, I think it went out. <laughs> Turn you around. Oh, it's going. Never diss the pallet. It's going to go. Fumigado. Is that Spanish? Where did these pa where did these pallets come from? Spanish for pallet? I <laughs> don't fumigado, don't burn. <laughs> Pine cones? Yeah, sure, we've thrown pine cones in the fire. Portuguese. Somebody says that sounds Portuguese. It might be. Fumigado. I don't think they were made in Canada. Yes, Tom has fire. Look at that. Gary has a hand cramp again. Do you want a holder for that? I do, but I left it at home. They said they're impressed. Fumigated. Elizabeth, is that Spanish? Square Wheel says do, he does not recommend throwing a bottle of rubber cement in a fire. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Talking from experience. <laughs> yeah, Tom wants to know, is that from experience? <laughs> I can do uh, beer, Tommy, but I'm not doing marshmallows. Ew. On this thing? Okay, so Elizabeth says yes, uh, but could be Portuguese as well. Very similar. Well, I knew it wasn't Canadian, that's all I know. Okay. Is this, is this mine, Tom? That's yours, Gary. All right, guys. Cheers on a Friday night. Fires and Canadian beers. You're not really late, Sandy. I was, uh, I was early. For those of you just joining us, we're over at Tom's. Gonna light a bit of a fire. Or what's gonna be a big fire once it goes here. <laughs> yeah, cheers everybody. <laughs> yes, I hate marshmallows. Are you saying you hate marshmallows too, Sherry? Canadian whiskey, yes, that counts. <clears throat> Do 
Oh, Netflix is probably better entertainment, Sandy. Truly. <laughs> you you paid better. for the Netflix. You better watch it. <laughs> oh, Tom's got a failure occurring here. Nice geologist. Thank you. <laughs> we might not be having a campfire either, guys. He said he hasn't had a campfire in a while, Tom. <laughs> mm. Well, give her a sec here. Pallets are a little dampy. We'll get it going one way or another. At least Patriot drinking water. Well, you were just sick, eh, Patriot? So you go ahead and have your water. <laughs> yes, I pay for the YouTube uh, too, guys. Uh, I think it's 12 bucks a month here in Canada, but then I don't have to watch all those ads. It's truly terrible. Even I, as a YouTuber, don't agree with how many ads they're putting on these shows now. Do you guys see ads on the screen right now at the bottom of the screen or anything? I'm just curious because I don't go live and I don't watch a lot of live. So let me know if there's ads on my screen right now, guys, because I'm curious to know. Yeah, you got your leaf blower, Tom? There's a suggestion. <laughs> yeah, you need coals for a leaf blower. <laughs> And I don't, we don't have any cardboard, guys, because today was recycling day. Recycling day. <laughs> I, had, I actually took all the newspaper out and put it on the table in the garage. And my kids, being the helpful kids they are, threw it back in the blue box. And my wife took everything out, and it's all gone. So there, <laughs> there's our fire, guys. One and done. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> we're gonna get this going. Stick around. I still have data. We're gonna we're gonna get this going. <laughs> I Promise. Managed, I managed to save a bucket of recycling. Hey, he's got a bit of recycling. Promise everybody a Canadian beer and a fire, and then you only get half the show. Are we still skinny dipping in your hot tub later, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to stick around for that show. <laughs> Might be the only way to get warmed up. Tom's got his plaid on too, did you guys notice? Yes, we could use Tom's Wi-Fi. He was silly enough to give me the password before. Tommy C says he's out. <laughs> he said he's out. I think that was in reference to us skinny dipping in the hot tub later. I think we got her here. Gary. All right, let's see. I was also going to uh, bring the banjolele over. I haven't played it in nine months. And uh, then I realized how bad I was. I could still only play about six chords, seven notes, and that's all I know. So I thought there's no point in doing that. You know it's wet when your socks get wet in your sandals. Oh, Tom, what are you... <laughs> this is Tom's favorite footwear. <laughs> we just... Work socks and sandals. Kelly Foster says, you can do it, Tom. I don't know. You guys haven't been hanging around with Tom enough. I'm not, I'm not sure. Wait for it. Wait for it. I think he's got it now, guys. That cardboard's going to put us over the edge. Yeah, Tom's going to yodel Bigfoot right out of the swamp after. Uh, what do you, How many songs you know, Tom? Three? Me? <laughs> it's not how many songs you know, it's how many chords you know. How many chords do you know, Tom? You can play a lot of songs with three chords. Yes. <laughs> As I'm learning on the banjo There you go. <laughs> C, G, and A. C, G, D, E. <laughs> and it depends how many beer you've had, too. Yeah. I think it's going to go, guys. How long were the pallets out in the rain? Three days? Uh, Pat brought them yes, Thursday, yesterday. Yeah, so two days in the rain. Bob and Doug McKenzie in the Great White North. Yes, this is the modernized version right here. Thanks for reminding me. I put my beer down. <laughs> Isn't that how it went? <laughs> that was before my time, guys. Come on. I think we did watch, uh, what was the movie? Right before your time, Great White North. 
Was that the name of the movie, Great White North? I think so, yeah. No, there was uh, where they had the dog and they kept putting the beer in the dog bowl. No, I'm sure the movie was called Great Strange North. Brew. Thank you, David. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And, yes, I knew it was not uh, the North Pole of the North. Come on. Great White North. Was that the name Strange of the... Strange Brew was the movie. Yeah, you're right. Was the... Okay, was the series that they did, was it called The Great White North? It was part of SCTV the, at the time. SCTV. They call each other hosers, not hose heads. Hosers. hosers. Come on, Cindy Lou. <laughs> hey, hoser. Cut it out, hoser. That would have been what? Uh, early 80s? Early 80s, yeah. Oh, the dog's name was Hosehead. Hey, even I didn't know that. Okay, Great White North was their show on SCTV. Yeah. Maybe Great White North was the name of the song they did. There was a song they did too and actually had a... Like, released a song. So now you're going to have to play it for the crowd I later. I have to Google it. Oh, I hear crackling. We got it now. Crackle pop. Now you're good. Uh oh. Did you guys hear that? That's Gage. Gage wants to come in. If I talk right now, he's going to come through the swamp. Friendly. Don't do that, Dom. <laughs> if Gage gets over here, I will never get him home. Friendly. He plays with Finley, and they play pretty hard. And here comes the rain, too. We got fire, yes we do. Yeah, so like I said, guys, it's uh, you know just a Friday night in Canada, beer and a fire. Maybe maybe some hollering in the swamp. You never know. It, it's either Bigfoot or the new neighbors. He's quite a drinker. <laughs> We're not even making that up. <laughs> the new neighbor. Oh, uh... the new old neighbor. He lived down the road that way before, and now he lives that way. <laughs> His reputation precedes him. Actually, I went to high school with him. I won't say anything. He might watch the live show. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice. Red, green. Yep. I think we need more wood underneath. Oh, it's going to go. Just two. We're fighting a losing battle because the rain is starting now. It'll fit right in. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> Bigfoot is a fan of marshmallows. Yes, could be. I should put all the marshmallows in my house out for Bigfoot because I hate marshmallows. Gary fishes with marshmallows. I do. Videos on the channel. <laughs> I brought some little marshmallows when we went up to uh, what was the name? That high High Lake. High Lake. Never had a bite. Thanks for thanks for dropping in, Tommy. Can Tom do a Bigfoot call? He can, but we don't want to encourage him. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like you're losing it again. No, no. It's a process. It's a process. I'm going to run out of data before you get this process figured out, Tom. <laughs> So, you guys will see these lights behind us here. Like I said, all winter. Doesn't matter the season. We save wood, we, uh, and then, you know, somebody on one side or the other is having a fire here and there. So, we'll, we'll do more of this stuff. We'll, we'll get the sleds out. We actually like to go back, way back in the swamp, and we have fire sometimes just out in the middle of nowhere. Take the kids and cook hot dogs and the Canadian way. You guys must do that down south. Must have woods that you can trail out into. Yes, the radar is terrible. We're any minute now we should be getting the torrential downpour. I checked before we set up on my deck earlier. Apparently it's the remnants of a tropical storm down south. Yep, yeah, it's whatever tropical storm you guys got hit by, it's coming across the Great Lakes. Air Force, yes, I remember Air Force. Not candy. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, it's not looking good. Is the picture better tonight, guys? 
I don't think we've broken up like we did the other night. It was really bad. When I rewatched uh, the walking through the swamp, it was terrible. Yes, cooking meat on sticks is great. <laughs> hey, yes, it is, Lisa. Strange lights? I don't know. We're always out looking. We did get a couple on uh, trail camera. If you haven't watched the last uh, trail camera videos, up in the tree there was a couple clips. I don't know what it was. Starless Mystery, hey, welcome. No, we started early, so you haven't missed anything. I'm going to burn a little bit of extra data tonight because it's the only thing burning. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> put me under pressure here, Gary. I just got home. <laughs> what do we got we can put on there? <laughs> here he goes. He's a man on a mission. He's going to find something. I really can't help him. I got the phone in one hand, beer in the other. Sorry, Tom. Hey, Greg. Charlotte Rodzer. South Central British Columbia. Sam Squinch Territory. Yes. Gary is a pro. I'm just kidding. No, there's nothing pro about this. <laughs> this is fly by the seat of your pants. This is Friday night with Gary. Tom promised me a fire and a couple of songs, and uh, the weather wasn't cooperating. We're still trying. Hey, Cheryl. Monica. John. Howdy, Texas. Hey, Terry. Vlad. The rest of you guys I think I said hello to. If I don't say your name, it's not because I don't like you. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Gary forgot to put his bifocals back on, so you'll you'll see me hold the phone further away as I'm trying to read. <laughs> so yeah, weather is not really cooperating. I mean, it's hey, it's beautiful in terms of temperature, but it's been rainy all week, so. Which one will win? Uh, I'm... I'm betting that the fire is going to go. We're going to make this go. If I have to prop the phone up somewhere and do this, I'll get it done for you guys. Okay, Tom's coming back. He's got his arms full of something. Oh, a beer case. Hey, there you go. <laughs> There's a little tiny bit of flameage left in there. You might be able to keep that going. Oh, you got some oil too? Okay, perfect. Stand back. That'll work. Just as the rain starts coming down even harder. Oh, here go the white man's juice. Going? Okay, oil's starting to catch. We might have fire yet. Any other leaf bands out there? Fifty six in Oklahoma. Is that normal? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is it considered a party if it's just me and Tom? I guess it is, eh, Tom? I think that's a sausage fest. <laughs> I don't like that kind of party. <laughs> Go Bruins. Oh, Lisa, I'm as soon as I get home, I can't ban you cuz I'm on the phone, but when I get to a computer, you're out of here. <laughs> 95 Bravo says, "Good thing this isn't a survival channel." <laughs> True that. We'd survive, we'd just be cold. Cold and wet. Anytime you have a beer, it's a party. Hey, well then, it's a party. Wow, have I been on here 45 minutes, guys? That's crazy. And they're still following. Are you related to Les Stroud by any chance, Tom? Yeah, long, just long lost cousin. But he's better at surviving, apparently. 
Well, <laughs> he got lucky. He had some hey, Grizz back. Trails says Tom's the man. Yep, he's gonna do it. He's getting her going. Smash that like button. That's right, guys. <laughs> if Tom gets the fire going, smash the like button. <laughs> A mattress or an old chair? Yeah, exactly. If you guys ever burned any old, like my grandparents had these recliners they wanted, and we threw it on the fire, and the flames must have went about 60 feet straight up. Dry, old, I don't know what the material was. I could do a, an alone survival show. I'd just do what the rest of these guys do. They they get fat before they go on it. <laughs> they call it surviving, but all they do is starve for two weeks. <laughs> David says you need to start your own show, Tom. Living next door to Gary. <laughs> Man, you would have so many viewers. You would have the best show. They're like, how do you live next door to him? <laughs> You guys can see the black smoke? Come on. <laughs> Christmas trees? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, that's good stuff, too. You got to let it dry out, though. Usually by the end of Christmas, it's dry, but you can hear it now. Big thumbs up for Tom. We burned tires in Louisiana. Yeah, I can believe that. No. <laughs> Square Wheel says your first episode would be the hunt for the chainsaw. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> says he found it. I found it. <laughs> Literally right there. Yeah. Took him half a day, but he found it. <laughs> Just retrace my track. I think we got it now, guys. Harold, hello. <laughs> Follow Gary around filming while you film. <laughs> See, we're giving you guys too many ideas to start your own channel here. Call the show Stalking Gary. Yeah, I'd say he's got it now. All right, everybody give a big thumbs up because Tom got the fire going. Hey, John. Talon. No, we're not going Bigfoot hunting tonight. It's been raining. The plan was to have a fire. Then the plan was to not have a fire. And as you can see, Tom got a fire going. So it's beer and fire tonight. Maybe we can talk uh, Tom into playing something on the guitar. It is way too wet out back to go walking. You see how much water is between our place? Yes, I showed them. There's probably four inches in there now. You see, it's like that in June. Well, I was just going to say May, April, May, June. Yeah, I've seen water in there right up till the end of July, but that's an extreme case. It's wet. Thumbs up, fire, symbols. Left, right, and center, everybody's applauding you, Tom. We got it. <laughs> I have to take my coat off in a minute. Yeah, the squatches are just out there. We'll keep your eyes out for eye shine, guys. <laughs> and uh, I had the night vision camera on the deck, and I wanted to show these guys. Right before I pushed the live button, the fox came out, ran right across the yard, stopped, looked at me, and then <laughs> took off. <laughs> and then there was nothing as soon as I went live. Of course. <laughs> Hey, Charlotte. Yeah, cheers. So again, a little follow-up to the original test we did. For some reason, the, I think the image quality is better tonight. I don't know why it was so crummy the other night. When I watched it back, it was terrible. But uh, like I was saying earlier, if you guys weren't on and missed it, I do have enough data. I didn't use very much, like half a gig for 20 minutes. So we'll be able to go out. We'll be able to do live sessions in the swamp or camping out. Wherever I have cell data, we can go. And twice a month, I'd like to do that. 
simply for the fact that I don't have to go home and edit any of this. When I'm done talking to you guys, I shut it off and I'm done for the night. I don't have to go home and edit for three hours. So I think a couple couple hours is what we'll do. You gonna grab your guitar, Tom? Uh, yeah. We'll do uh, we'll do one one quick song, maybe two songs with Tom, and then I'm gonna shut it down. I don't know what he can play, guys. His favorite band is a tragically hip Canadian band. So uh, if if you want to request something, request the hip if there's any chance of him playing it. Otherwise, <laughs> I don't know how many songs he knows. <laughs> Hey, thanks, John. I try to keep the channel interesting. I try not to do the same thing all the time, but... Hey, where else can you go on a Friday night and have a fire and a beer with Gary the Canuck? Tom the Canuck. See, we put out chairs for you guys, but nobody showed up. No problem, square wheel. Oh. Oh, he's got the guitar. Okay, first one to uh, make a request of a song that he knows. Oh, Jesus. I... Life I... of the Party by Shawn Mendes. I... I don't think he knows that. What? <laughs> Vlad, Vlad says he knows that one. The only song I know. Oh, Jesus. This... Boot, I Scooting, Boogie, Heart oh. of Gold, Neil Young. I don't sing, so it's called Name This. Name That Tune. Okay, I got to... Highway off. Girl. I got a tune. I got a tune. Oh, he's got a tune in. Oh, God. <laughs> even... You know we're live, eh, Tom? Hey. Good things don't uh, just happen. Country Boy Can't Survive. Name that tune. Run to the hills. I missed the previous comment because again, this thing faded out. Creeping Death by Metallica. You can do it, Tom. On an acoustic, yes. <laughs> Thanks, you Terry. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> Tibor, hello, Germany. Do you know O Canada? O Canada, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Blue Rodeo, Canadian too. Yeah, I love Blue Rodeo. Thumbs up for Tom, guys. I do know that tune, I just can't think what song it is. <laughs> Does anybody know that song? What he's playing? Alright, okay, yeah. Did somebody already say that, knocking on Heaven's door? Somebody did say that already. Mary Mary, were you the first one? She gets the shout out. Guys, it's not Tom that sounds bad, it's the audio on the phone. <laughs> no, great job, Tom. Great job. What else you got? Bravo, nice. Cheers. <laughs> It's okay, it's not like we're live or anything, Tom. <laughs> Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> you know any Pink Floyd, Tom? I'm surprised you didn't start with the hip, guys. That's all he listens to. 
Oh, I'm going to sing? No, I don't think you want that. <laughs> hey, there we go. We'll have to give them more notice, guys, for the next concert. All right, we've been 55 minutes. Do you want to play one more, Tom? Because I'm getting hand cramp. <laughs> we're going to do one more song, then we're going to sign off, guys, let you back to your Friday night. What, what have you practiced? No, <laughs> I'm good. All right, guys, this is what we're going to do for the next couple hours. So I hope you guys have a good Friday night. Everybody have fun. Stay safe. Stay dry. And stay tuned for that video coming out tomorrow. It's a good one. we got some good stuff on there. If you missed it earlier, it's the video with the whoop and some parabolic stuff. So everybody have a fantastic Friday evening and we'll catch you. I'll let you guys know on Facebook and on YouTube when we're going to go live again. We'll probably go out on an adventure somewhere. Okay, guys? Thanks for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you guys soon. Boy, fuck, I'm hot. <laughs> I didn't stop it. <laughs> I got to take the fucking call.